Do you want to know the three things you must have in your treatment room to elevate your practice? Hi, my name is Mark Benz. I'm in one of the largest massage therapy clinics in North America. Today, I want to share with you the things we have in every one of our treatment rooms and has absolutely elevated our practice to the next level. is you'll say it's the simplest thing ever, but it is, but it isn't, okay? And it's cleanliness and organization. And I wanna give you an example to really illustrate this. And the first one won't be massage therapy, it's gonna be outside of the clinical environment. But picture going into a restaurant, and actually I know one right down the street from where we are, and I just had this experience. Okay, you go in and the front end of the restaurant where the tables are, it looks pretty good. Right? Hey, this is a pretty good place. I like it. It represents what they're doing. Um, super. Then you go in and you say, hey, can I use the bathroom? And you go down the hall and you turn the corner. And then what do you see? You see boxes lined up. And you see linens on racks. And you see employees' uh, coats there. And it's just like, what? And you gotta remember that. You might say, oh, well, that's okay. It's a small restaurant, family one restaurant. It's okay if they've got some old tables in the back area. Y you know, it's okay, but it isn't. Because you've gotta remember that the experience is being dealt with. So when I'm in that restaurant, it's on the subconscious and conscious level. So yeah, consciously I can say, ah, oh, I can justify what they're doing. It makes sense, small business. But subconsciously, I also say to myself, this place is disorganized. This place probably isn't that clean. I can see how things are kind of disheveled. Then I jump to the conclusion, this place probably isn't doing that well, because if you're doing well, you're probably going to be able to be more organized and not have so much sort of chaos, let's say, in that back area. So think about that, right? What does that mean when you're in that experience? If you go to a restaurant and, and you go to, um, uh, I mean, I got an amazing one just down the street, uh, and you go in it, Everything is purposefully done. Let's take that example now and bring it into your practice, your treatment room. Okay, this is what I've seen. And I've been around 25 years, many different things. But I've seen therapists leave their coats in the treatment room. I've seen therapists leave their bags, even food out. Even like boxes of stuff. So think about that. When those things are displayed, have nothing to do with the client experience. And basically, on that subconscious, conscious level, it just shows, you know what, this isn't about me, the client, and it can get really bad. I remember, holy doodle, the little guy tipped over. I remember uh, I was away on vacation with my wife, we went to this island, and uh, we booked the massage, and we go in, and it's, it's at her house, so I'm thinking, oh, that's interesting. We go in, and we get a treatment a portable table in the middle of her living room, and there are those um, strings hung up, ropes with her laundry on them. Oh my God, I just remembered this too. You know what she was doing? She was smoking. Now, <laughs> this is outrageous. Uh, now, I guess it's not outrageous if you want to really present yourself as a hokey, um, disorganized, uh, homey islander who smokes. If that's the target market, I mean, you nailed it. You absolutely nailed it. But if you're going after people who are tourists coming from the city, who are looking for a getaway relaxation, just sort of like, hey, I'm just hanging out with my wife, just decompressing, and you walk into that environment, oh my God. I was just like, I remember my wife going, where are we? And I was hey, don't worry. I'm sure it's going to be excellent. And it, you know, it was a decent massage for sure at the end of it, but whoa. What she represented was just, it was mind boggling. So that's a bit of an extreme, but realize what is happening in your treatment room. How organized is it? How clean is it? What is that client experience? So that's the first thing. The second thing we wanna talk about is having an electric table with a heat uh, pad on it. Now, if you can't afford an electric table, I get it, you might be starting out, you could be struggling, whatever the case may be. But if you can, I would say at all costs, 
you get an electric table. If you're going to work at a clinic, make sure they have an electric table. So a portable table, it just doesn't give that, hey, you're the expert. You know, this is the experience that the client wants to have because a portable table is a little bit flimsy, kind of like this table. And you got to remember, and, and I've gone on many uh, portable tables, if you're vulnerable, let's say naked to whatever level you're naked, you're getting on that table and it's a bit flimsy. Again, in the subconscious or conscious mind, you're making a judgment like, wow, man, this, you know, this could end well or poorly. I could tip over. Who knows what's going to happen? But with an electric table, it's solid. And that solid frame gives you that expertise feeling. And the client goes, this person is serious. So if you can electric table, if you can't with that portable table, what I've done way, 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 way back um, in the past, I used to have a business where we went to hotels is we would give the therapist sandbags, little sandbags, and we put them on the table with the frame, which gave it more stability. Now, not on the actual surface, but underneath on the, on the frame. So when the person goes to it, they don't automatically kind of push it and feel unstable. So there are many things you could do, get creative. Uh, I would also invest uh, more in your sheets, in your pillows, in your blankets. Just make sure if you have a portable table that that experience isn't about an unstable portable table, right? It's about a really nice table that supports them during their treatment. And for sure, get a table warm. I mean, come on, people are getting undressed. They want to make sure that they're warm. Okay, it's very simple. That's a very inexpensive um, um, piece of uh, equipment to have. Okay, number three, in your treatment room, understand what is there. So what, like, have a purpose to what's in the room. So in our treatment rooms, we have it clean. It's painted. The floor is, you know, beautiful. It's, it's brown, the, the hard wood. Uh, but then also we have, uh, TheraBands, so those exercise bands, okay? We have uh, rollers, so those foam rollers. Uh, we have tools, so tools that you would use to uh, do a treatment room. So think about it. What are you going after? So if you're looking at runners or athletes, those are great things to have in your, your room. If you're doing relaxation massage, de-stressing, think about the lights. Think about um, the aroma. Uh, again, think about uh, the sheets, the blankets. You've got to understand that whatever, like, so what is it? What are you representing as a massage therapist? It has to appeal to that group of people. Because you've got to remember, when they're having the treatment afterwards, they're going to go, wow, everything added up to be a world-class experience for myself. I'm coming back and I'm telling my friends. Okay, guys. Those are the three things. And really important, you might say, hey, these seem kind of simple. They're simple, but boy, do they ever work. And as I've said, I have them in all my treatment rooms. Those three things I've done in every treatment room. It's absolutely elevated our practice. And that's one of the reasons above and beyond the amazing therapists we have and a few other awesome things. It's really one of those foundational points that has elevated our practice to the next level. Thanks, guys. Go out there and take action. If you loved what you've heard, make sure to like the video and subscribe to it. We'll see you.